I'm glad I wasn't planning on going to the thing. So anyways, that's like the fifth time I've tried to walk up from, to Quincy from here and I can't find the fucking place. I'm going to check them out in a second because... It's just a pub I just got in here, so... Um, he's not here. So after this morning, her mom was supposedly running the house down. He leaves her here by herself. Um, I wasn't really planning on going anywhere, but I was planning on trying to walk out to Quincy. So you obviously get frustrated. And then just, it's as bad as when I walked out to Worcester, if not worse. Just, it's difficult that there are creatures that are that evil. Just, it's difficult that there's creatures that are that evil. You're better off not going out there. Don't drive down Canton now. I was wondering if they actually altered the road. I'm going to look at the map again to find out exactly where I went wrong because I looked at it before I left. Is not Canton Ave supposed to go right into Adams Street? Right. I just somehow it ended up on. They like re, they have you purposely take a right. I went both ways. You both times you just end up right back on 138. We as Adams Street. Because I'm pretty sure that's the right direction. Because there was other streets I saw that were familiar. And at first I was like. Did I just do another loop around? Like it is, it's it's effing bizarre for one that there's no street signs how to get to Quincy from this area other than the highway. The, with the last time I tried to walk out there, by the way, some woman asked me if I knew how to get to Somerville. She was out in Milton. I'm pretty sure that's Milton and not High Park anymore. And you just go, yeah, obviously this entire area out here is bizarre. It's like, you uh, you walk around going, where do you people shop? That's why I said these people are evil people. Evil, evil people. If you want to call them people. They're not just building houses. They're like gross. It, like gross. Like Aaron spelling gross and Donald Trump gross. And you just go... You know that these people are profoundly retarded, too. You're just like, what on the name of... If these people are not getting any medical care whatsoever. I know, it's just... Meanwhile, I'm being force-fed nitrates. Right, and you just go, that is why they're evil, people. That is why they're evil. I was wondering, if, I was starting to wonder if that's why they were picking up homeless people on Pond Street and driving them through Canton to show off houses that they can't have. Like they're that deranged now. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I'm stopping shop. Someone's going to check. Okay. That the Trident is actually on sale for $1.99. Like, you're supposed to go and check. I told you there was a sign. And they all, this is what they do. They go to a flyer. Right. And then they won't give you the price. It's like, there's a sign that says it's a dollar ninety nine. I looked right at it. It says Trident. I just had to avoid it. Right. It's just, I don't know what's going on with them. But anyways, um, I usually try to keep it really cordial with people that are working in grocery stores. But. You're supposed to go to the aisle where the gum is and see if there's a sign. And if this is, I'm supposed to get it for nothing. And you refuse to do what you're supposed to be doing. That's why those signs are put there. And now the people that are working at self-checkout refuse to do it. Right. Just as an FYI. The woman with the cream did go and look. She didn't just look in a flyer, by the way. There's nothing else going on in your day that wasn't even busy. I rung it up at the at the price checkout. My hand to God. I rung it up at the price checkout, and when I went through the self checkout, it still rung up wrong. And so that I, I the thing went off on its own. 
It went off on its own like someone sitting there watching it knows it rung up wrong. Right, because all of a sudden when I put my last item down, it did that thing. So if they're, I don't know. They're making up their own testing of God's doing it because it it didn't ring up right. I did anyone was anyone there? I went right to the price check. I had two things of God. Right, and then she, she, I ended up paying two or three something for the other type of gum when it was a dollar ninety nine for the Trident. You just go. Not all, you're, you're overcharging me. You're overcharging me now. <laughs> That's been going on for years too because you don't listen to God. You refuse it or you think it's funny. Yeah, everything's funny. Anyways, um, on, when I was out there walking around, I go, you know what? I may never attempt to go back to that place again. It must be so bad in Quincy now. I don't think it's got anything to do with my cognition, people. Right. Um, it, it it's it's so weird. It, it must it has to seem weird at this point. Right. It has to seem weird at this point that because I walk everywhere. When I went out to that hotel, I found where everything was. In case you forgot, and I go and and I never got lost or anything. So it, it, it's uh, I believe it's God doing it. There's something really bad going on out there, or it's there's something going on with the person that, right? I'm not to be at a place where wherever that person thinks I'm gonna be. I'm just letting you know because it's just really, really weird. It's beyond weird that I've tried to walk out there like four or five times. Once was on the highway when I had to leave that house. To a day after I walked to Worcester. Okay. And then the police picked me up. It's some weird thing where it's like you cannot walk from here. Has anyone been able to walk from here to Quincy or from Quincy to here? Or do they inevitably end up getting on a train and a bus? When he goes out there, he always takes the highway. Does anybody have a drive through Blue Hills? Is it possible that they altered roads and shit up there? I don't know. I'm going to look because I was on Camp Nav. Isn't Camp Nav supposed to go right into Adam Street? That's why originally, I, this is why I didn't do it, because I don't want to take the bus and the train up there and end up with not enough to take the bus and the train back. I figured I'd try to walk there and then take the bus and the train back, and I didn't. I still didn't make it there. I I don't want to take a bus and a train and then try to walk back here and end up. I can't get back here. Do you get what I'm saying? I'd rather end up doing that. And this is the other thing. I'll be walking, walking, walking like that, right? And no matter what happens, I end up like bloop, and I'm right there in the Ponce Valley Parkway. It's bizarre. I don't see how that can be just there's something wrong with my cognition and I'm getting lost. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like I'm not walking and then I end up having to walk like what happened to me when I walked out to uh, Natick. Yeah, that was... I'm going to look right now. Let me see. What should I look up? Just um, don't don't do MapQuest because they'll tell you all this weird stuff. Private road and all this stuff. Private road. <laughs> you just go. I'm not doing. All, I'm not walking anywhere. Well, a street name is Private Road. How do you build a monstrosity like that? There was that much land out there. That's what I'm saying. Is it possible? Because when a person becomes that insane and evil and grandiose, that's the stuff they do. And they do it purposely. They do it purposely where they will uh, they'll buy a city council so that they can alter the roads to build a property because it's part of a morbid mental insanity, like grandiosity, like people that name the street after themselves. All right, let's see. Um, I got to think of something just to get a map.
No, I don't want Milton Street. No, I don't want Milton now. This is what this is part of the thing they do in their morbid insanity. When, don't even bother map questing anything. Oh, believe me, it's morbid insanity. Okay. Um, like they're gonna help you walk farther. They're gonna see if you can if the spirit can get you somewhere because they're profoundly morbidly insane. Okay. So, anyways, um, I was wondering if they were picking up people on Pond Street and driving them to that church. They purposely drive through Canton too. I think they're doing it on purpose because they're so insane. I'm, I'm pretty much convinced of it. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this is what I did. I went to 28, I went to this Brook Road Okay. And that you can either go Central Lab or just or go to Cant Nav. So that's what I did. Right. See how Cant all right, it's not me. Okay. See how Cant Nav should go right into Adam Street? It doesn't. I just did it. I just did it. I just did it. So my hand to God, they've done something where they actually, they actually altered the road. I don't, I couldn't have gone the other way because I wouldn't have ended up on Cant Nav. Cant Nav's not the other direction, right? I'm checking now. Okay, this is how you'd know too, because Cant Nav actually does end. That's why I picked this route. That's why I did it. I didn't even care if it was longer. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, so we are supposedly did I somehow go wrong? How did I end up back on 138 at all? That doesn't even make any sense. It looks like you can keep taking Brook Road the entire way unless this isn't even true, what they've done right here. I just walked it and I ended up right back on 138. I don't even see 138 on this map. Supposedly Brook Road and the Santa Street go right into Adam Street too. Because Adam Street goes into Quincy. That's how you get to Quincy on Adam Street. And Adam Street is wicked long. See? Adams National Historic Park. I would have been right there. So how did that even happen is what I'm saying. We have his 138 on him. There's 93. Where's 138? 138's not even there. Is there another name for 138? Because that's what I'm saying. I don't even see 138 on this map. 
is it 93? Does it turn into 138? Is it Randolph Ave? Is that 138? Well, if that's the case, where is Adam Street? Because I thought of that too. I, I walked up, I walked up 138 this way, which is way beyond what I usually do. I don't know. I might have been close to Adam Street and I didn't know it. Forbes House Museum. I don't know. I didn't notice any of them. Honestly, after the, what I saw on Cat Nav, you do, you start to just get tweaked and you like it because it makes you wicked mad. And it's, it, what are you going to do? Right. You just. And then, of course, there's people jogging. I don't know if the guy was fucking talking to me. Do not talk to me, especially if you're fucking jogging. You and your fucking thing with the vaginal slit. Don't fucking talk to me when I'm out. You people disgust me. I don't know how many times I'd have to tell you that. <laughs> For real. Did those people know all that building that got those people jogging? I would assume he was talking to me unless there was another jogger and I didn't see it. Just, hey, how you doing? Dude? Hey, how you doing? Do you fucking see those buildings up there? Hey, how am I fucking doing? For real, just... Honestly, just be glad that there's certain people that don't have access to firearms, okay? Because you people are fucking despicable. You're despicable. you just, you're grotesque fucking animals that are clearly being nuked. I explained it to you a million times. Almighty God is fucking killing you. Thank God. Thank God God is real to fucking kill you because you are despicable and grotesque, okay? Right? Like... You fucking took all my children in my house. And this has been going on with me for 11 fucking years. Don't hate how you're doing to me. You're a piece of fucking shit. You're a maggot. Anyways. I'm going to have to remember some of these streets because. Brook Hill Road. Well, next time I know like. High Street. It should be right there. It should be right after High Street. What road is this that's 138, supposedly? Is it Randolph Ave? Is that another name for 138? Because that would be the only thing that makes any sense right now. I'm going to find out why that would be a fucking secret as I'm sitting here trying to look it up. Okay, obviously, it right, because I just fucking Googled 138 in Milton, Massachusetts, and they keep giving me fucking Milton Street. Cloud profuse fucking insanity. All right, does it have another name other than 138? No, I don't qualify for a disability. I could get, I couldn't get to a fucking SSDI hearing, but I was denied that too. It's all good. All right, let me just look up fucking Randolph Street. All right, is that fucking 138? I walk the thing all the time, but I don't walk it up in that area. That's why.
I, I, I knew that it was beyond, I, I knew where I was pretty much because when I take the turn at the Ponson Valley Parkway, I can see it goes up the hill. I know there's something up there, right? I just don't go up that far. That's why I knew, I thought continuing to walk that isn't going to do anything for me. Do you get what I'm saying? That lacks sense, okay? But if this is actually the truth that shows you how fucking insane people are, because they refuse to make a fucking map quest to tell a person how to walk to fucking Quincy, Massachusetts from here in a profuse fucking insanity. So if I walk out here and I reverse my walk, right, and I go up that fucking hill and there's a high street right the fuck there that goes to Adam Street, that shows how profusely fucking morbidly insane you people are. Because you don't have one fucking street sign telling people how to get to Quincy, Massachusetts from here other than a fucking highway. Am I dumb? I don't care if you have fucking traffic. I don't care if you have fucking traffic. Fucking maggot. We need more fucking traffic. Because if that's what if that's why you don't have a street sign to tell people how to fucking walk somewhere from here to there, because we can't walk on the fucking highway, maggot. So if you can't put up fucking signs for people to walk from here to a fucking major city where a doctor's office is then you need fucking traffic. How's that? Piece of fucking shit. All of you, all of you people in those fucking houses up there, you're all being fucking nuked, you pieces of fucking shit. The Virgin Mary. Attack me in the fucking street. I really don't give a fuck. The evil fucking people. Oh, yeah. I can see that you people are lacking fucking funding. Fucking evil, evil, evil. You're all going to fucking die. It's law one. You did an Exodus 20 in 2011. You're fucking dead. You're dead already. Blue Hill Ave is 138. See, that is not making any sense. Where's this other? That doesn't make any sense to me in what I just fucking walked. Because I was on Canton Ave, right? In the right direction. Why didn't I get to Adam Street? How did I end up way back over there? How did I end up back at Blue Hill Ave? That still does not make any fucking sense to me. What That does not make any sense how I ended up back on Blue Hill Lab. Oh, wait, what is it way up there? That does not make any sense. There's no way that this map is right. I'm just telling you, there's no way this map is right. I just walked it. I just walked it. When's the last time people walked out there? I just walked it. 138's not anywhere near there. 
It said fucking can't nav the whole fucking street. I should have ended up right at fucking Adam Street. What's this Milton Village? Is it possible that the road is all fucked up because of that? Okay, because Milton Village sounds like Avalon Park or the villages in Florida, where you do exactly what I just said, where you alter the fucking roads. I really don't care if I sound crazy. I just fucking watch the thing. How the fuck did I get back to the Ponted Valley Parkway if I fucking blacked out and didn't know where the fuck I just walked? Is it possible that they loop you around and they don't tell you that you're on a different street like this Elliott Street and they're still telling you you're on Canton Ave? I don't care what you think I sound like, okay? Because people do fucking insane things, that's why. How, how do you explain what just happened? How do you explain what just happened? How did I end up back on 138 when I was walking right on Canton Ave the entire time? How would that happen? Some people would say so that I saw what the fuck you're doing over there. <laughs> Some people would say that, yeah. I saw some museum. I did. I saw some museum. But that doesn't even make any sense either. Wait a minute. This is this is if I took Brook Road all the way. I don't I didn't go down church church lane though. Do you get what I'm saying? If I took 28 all the way to this church lane. Or Randolph Ave, but I didn't turn on to Randolph Ave. That's the only thing that would make any sense. And I, I just missed Adam Street, and then I ended up on Cant Nav going the wrong fucking direction again. I don't see how that's possible, though, because wouldn't I have ended up back on Brook Road doing that? And then I'd go, how the fuck am I on Brook Road? I would realize I did that wrong, wouldn't I? Unless for some reason this map makes everything seem like it's big and it's not. Because it is very confusing there. I was thinking that when I was walking. Like, it's one of those things if you haven't tried to do it and you're like, she's fucking completely lost her mind. Try to do it first. Um, it's one of those things where you have four streets that go to the same place. Streets that change names. And it's like all these intersections where it's like road, 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 and, and signs go here and signs go there. Uh, right? It's one of those. So before you start saying that, try to walk it yourself first. That's the only thing that, that could have happened that makes any sense to me.
that I went all the way Brook Road and I was actually almost there. I was actually almost there. And then somehow I got on Cant Nav going the wrong direction, which means that this map makes everything look like it's big because I walk all over the place and that's, it shouldn't be spaced out like that if it's that close. I don't know if it was Forbes house because I looked to see what it was. I, there was some museum that might be what it was. I thought I looked around and didn't see any Adam street signs. You got to have street signs on, on streets. I really don't want to. I really don't want to. I, I have like a really bad feeling that there's something wicked bad going on in Quincy that I'm not supposed to be out there. It's just beyond bizarre that I try to walk to a place that many times. And I just keep looping around and looping around and looping around it. That doesn't make any fucking sense. It reminded me of Albuquerque. It reminded me of Albuquerque, downtown Albuquerque, in terms of if you think a person has cognitive decline or just God is going, this person is not fucking going out there. I could not find that St. Martin's thing. And I just kept walking. That's why I said, sometimes you just have to go. I'm obviously not fucking going out there. I'm obviously not going out there. Yeah, it, because you'll be driven mad if you try to fight Almighty God when you decide you're not doing something, especially for your own safety. Whatever's going on out there. I don't know if they if there's people out there that have fucking lost their noggin and they think they're going to like jam me out in fucking Quincy or something. People like Talia Tuffy, right. Um, or there's just so much nuclear fallout out there now that it's it's too hazardous to go out there it might be because so the doctor's office will flip the fuck out who knows but yeah that's just like way too many times i've tried to do something <laughs> if you think about when i went to when i was in dorchester i walked all i found everything i was looking for i walked all over the place though found the library um how to get back to quincy center remember that the chick working there couldn't explain to me how to get back to the hotel. <laughs> I know you just go, I would never like, I would never try to cover up cognitive decline. It's just, I, I really don't think it's that. Right. Just anyways, it's just weird. It's just some weird thing where clearly, you know what? Ah, forget about walking out to Quincy. <laughs> Not a need to go out there. Not a need to go out there at all. It's one of those things where if there's anybody in Quincy that wants to see me that badly, they can walk out here. Most of those people have money anyway. They can take a bus and a train. Anyways, that was like, I don't know if he's ever done that to you. It wasn't, no, I wasn't really, I was just like, I think it was more what people are doing out there. I really do, because as you know, I wasn't planning on going out there anyway, but you do, you start to get like, that's why those, that's why people with dementia are like that, but it's not acceptable. I understand why they're doing it, but it's not acceptable. Right, because they, they're in a rage because their fucking brain is gone. I think there's people like that that can't figure out how to get out of their fucking house. Oh, yeah. If you know your mind is gone like that, you got to come to some kind of acceptance because... That's why I use the price checker. <laughs> I know it's like a flyer. I just used the price checker over there. Why isn't your thing matching up to your price checker? And it wasn't busy. Huh? Anyways. Hey, it's like this. Um, essential workers, I'm not the one doing that. It's either your boss is doing it or God's doing it. 
So don't get mad at me. But obviously, it's a little bit irritating on my part, too, believe me. Because it's part of your job that you just go over and see if there's a sign in the gum aisle. That's why. Because people put things there that aren't in the flyer, and they leave them there from week before purposely to help people out. You're not with the program of essential workers. That's why I prefer, actually, the shop and shop in Quincy, but obviously I'm not going to Quincy every day to go shopping. You guys are, you guys are nice, too. It's just um, you're supposed to go and check and see if there's a sign. It's probably your bosses are trying to pull Bible stuff with you again. They're going to continue to do that till they can't live and die. The teachers. Because they have to explain why they have an exit destroying. They have to explain why there's still a world. And while they're doing that, you have, as you're an essential worker, okay, because we're not really at odds, uh, don't drive up Canton Ave. Okay. Because you'll you you'll probably gather people with, with axes and, and pitchforks. I'm sure. I'm sure. They have people getting off the ground in Quincy, Massachusetts to work in these stores. Okay. These people are wretched. These people are absolutely wretched. They're working people to literal death in these stores to, to keep providing to you food and stuff in this people building. That's not even a house. And like I said, you know it's some disgusting, profoundly retarded animal too, doing it. So unfortunately, be the bearer of the bearer of more bad news because, like I was saying to her, that happened to me when I walked out to Worcester. But after a while, you feel like you're gonna vomit because you just—it's difficult to explain. Just you're literally disgusted with with these things. You're literally disgusted with them. You don't envy them. It's just you. You just. All you can keep saying over and over again is how can people be that fucking sick? That's all you can say over and over again. How can people be that sick? I don't want to sound like an asshole, but, you know, in terms of the people that are uh, working the cash registers, because some of them have been extremely fucking rude over the years ago. Do you realize what they're doing with properties and shit while they're forcing you to fucking work here? You are being rude to the wrong fucking bitch. That's why I'm that's why I really try to taper it down. I really try to not be mean to the people that are working in those places. They're not making any fucking money. Then you find out that they're doing the shit with man at health and these people making forty fucking dollars an hour to put a Q tip in my fucking nose, to evict me from a house, force me out to Quincy and stick a Q tip in my nose once a week. Forty fucking dollars an hour. And they they are the same way as that chick that was on IRS phone. Because they think everything is fucking funny. They're completely demented. I'm sure it, some people do know and some people just don't know because you've been protected. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be protected, but just some of the things, uh, the conditions that I've seen people in in the shelters and outside is just... It, all I get from him is that he's not allowing it. He's not allowing it. That's why there's an extinction. And it's sort of like, how long is it going to take for these people to realize that they all have cancer? Because I don't think doctors are telling them they do. I don't think the doctors are telling them they do. And then they have, like I told you, these Nazis that are acting as doctors, like at the Man at Health and the Bay State Health. Okay. And they don't, they, they're not qualified to be working in medicine whatsoever. 
or in the mental health field or many other fields. That's why these people with the houses, they all look like crap and they're all covered in plastic and shit because they're not craftsmen. Okay. It, it, people that worked it stopped working because our country is being destroyed by profoundly insane animals that are clearly evil and heartless. Evil and heartless. And you just go, this is ground zero for nuclear reactors. So enjoy, enjoy whatever that is you're building out there. I'm telling you, I really think that they started picking up homeless people in a van and driving them through there to show off, show off properties they have. They're not telling, they don't have a walking program. They say nothing about walking. They take them over, they take them to that church, that fountain of grace. And you just go, they're completely deranged. It's my walk route. I, I told you about this, okay? It's my walk route that I started doing before the eviction. And then they, they pick you up in Pond Street and drive you up there in Canton to this big church that used to be in Dedham, okay? It, uh, most of them are apparently from Africa. They're not even from the United States of America, all right? And they, the whole thing is they're dancing and it, they're like basically making fun of anybody that believes in God, from what I could tell. Okay. In the name of Jesus, people do it to get $20 to do their laundry. That's why they go in the van with these people. And they're, they're horrifically insane. And they're talking about what do they're talking about 138 in a month of enlargement. And then they started take driving homeless people to Houghton's Pond to baptize them. I, I think some of the people from the Denim Food Pantry know after this whole year, right, they've paid attention. It, that's one of the good things about being annoying online. I it, like, if anything, it does, it doesn't matter how crazy I am, people. It's what they're doing. And they're doing it to more people than just me. Because anybody from Dedham that sort of paid attention and went, Okay, so she's, I made this big thing, if you remember, because they actually orchestrated it. And, and I was handcuffed and put in an ambulance and taken to a hospital and they forcibly put a face mask on me. Remember all that? Wielding a knife. And I explained to them about the eviction and everything. And then he went to the, the Dedham Court and the Dedham Court told these people to stop it. And then they kept doing it. Okay, so then I, they evict me to the street and pick me up in a fucking van from the street and drive me to a church in Canton to talk about my walk route I was just doing. And that they're in a month of enlargement and now they're taking homeless people to Houghton's Pond to baptize them. So it's probably people like that building houses like that up there. I'm just letting you know. That's how demented and deranged they are. So if you live in that area and you're still sending your kids to public school, you need to stop. You need to stop it. I don't care what is going on. You need to stop working or whatever. Something's more important than that. Just live in your car with your kid. If you ever lost your house because you have to stop working because your kid's going to school with that and that's children. Any of those people in those houses out there. You don't want you don't want to expose your children to any of those people that are living in those houses out there. How profoundly sick and insane you'd have to be with me laying on the ground? I mean, really? I think it goes a little bit beyond you don't believe in alimony. Jesus fucking Christ. It really wasn't, I wasn't really that tired. That's a good thing. I, I think, yeah, I mean, it, I usually walk two hours. So I was like, uh, the most I'm going to do is three hours. And if I can't find Adam Street, I'm going to turn around. And the next thing I know, I'm on 138. So I think I did. I think I figured out what it, what, it, what it was. Is something happened where I ended up going back the other direction. I'm pretty sure that's what happened to me the last time I tried to walk out there, but it was a different way. <laughs> I know, it's just, what in the name of God? That's got to be God doing that. I was clearly like right there. So you just take, you just go to Adam Street and then you take Adam Street. Adam Street is what the food pantry's on. I know what Adam Street is. 
It goes right into Hancock Street. That's a whole nother area too. If you've never walked Adams Street from Quincy, because I have, I because I was trying to get to Ocean State job lots, and I didn't walk it that far. And I went, this is definitely not the right way. So I, that's how I know where that is. Sometimes when you get sort of lost, it's good because that's how you find out where stuff is. I don't need to find out where that stuff is out in the now. I don't need to know any of that. I don't need to know any of that. I don't need to be picked up in a van and driven through places because it's they don't even do it for their own enjoyment. Now they're doing it, but no one knows they're doing it because they're psychopathically insane. That's the only reason they're doing it. So now they're going to drive you from a van to show you what they're doing because you're just happy in a, in a, in a poop hole in Dedham. So they've got to evict me and then drive me around to show me what they're doing. As invaders on this land, they're not even they're not even Americans. They're not U.S. citizens. They talk in an accent and they're from Africa. The whole that whole church is nothing but black people, and they're not Americans. They're not U.S. blacks. They have a couple of black people now. They never did it before. They never they they've gotten worse because they never kept black people in that shelter before. It was wicked noticeable. Okay, now they've actually got a couple of them now because they're Americans. It, that's how bad it's gotten. And now they have the people working in the hotel are from Africa. They're not even from the United States. They're hiring people. Now. They're infiltrating all the shelters and they're not United States citizens. It's like a hostile takeover of your whole friggin' country. So if you people could try to not be at odds and if you could really not get brainwashed into this whole community thing, I don't know what you people are doing with your children, where anybody that's an American citizen or was raised here has anything to do with that. How are we having anybody that even sounds remotely American that has anything to do with man at health or it sounds like greed Massive greed and, and completely not minding your own house in terms of your children. That you would have anybody that was born here has children that have anything to do with that. That's, I don't know if that's what the Hitler uses or not. I don't like anything that starts off with the word Hitler because Hitler isn't even a person. Just like all these people that are trying to tell you, and it's not an offense to anybody that's not white, but these people that are trying to tell you that, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> uh, were pharaohs in Egypt, they're not. It's a similar type of thing. They did the same thing in Rome, okay? It's just none of that stuff. If you want to keep a history of your people or whatever, I mean, first of all, when a species is going into an extinction, you don't have a way to keep a history for yourselves. And that's up to the remaining human beings that are here. So I just feel that none of that should even be, I think it should all be wiped away. Honestly, after Trump Pence 2016, all of it, all of it, because it's just, it's clearly just being done. It, it, they're mocking them. They're mocking them. The people doing it are mocking them and they still don't get it. They don't get it. They think that it's all a big fun thing. They don't realize that they think that they're retarded pieces of shit. Like these people down in the run in the shelter, they think the governor is, is paying them <laughs> to torment U.S. citizens and kill us. Uh, he has an executive force, but he's using them to do it. Wielding a knife doesn't go, doesn't even get arrested, but he needs animals down at Quincy Center to hold me in a, in a hotel prison. That's what they're being paid for. They weren't paid to house me. They didn't, he, they weren't paid a ransom and they still refused to house me or stop attacking me when they had me again as their prisoner. Ugh, excuse me. You just, oh, this was the other thing I wanted to mention too. Well, obviously, when it, when I'm in a, it's not really a bad mood. It's just, it's a little bit frustrated, but I'll be fine. 
um, I told you it's a, it's somewhat not being able to find it. Right. Why are there no signs telling them to drive through there to get there? Why can't they drive the back roads to get there? Why do they have to go on the highway? Right. I don't give a fuck that you don't like traffic. I don't like fucking traffic either. And it's a zoom, zoom, zoom. I get to breathe it. You're going to fucking breathe it too. Good luck stopping police cars and fucking fire trucks and EMS because they did that shit and done them already when you people pulled that fucking shit. Right. Anyways, you will smell pollution too like everybody else and fucking horns beeping and traffic at 3 a.m. The fuck you won't. They started doing road construction out west when I walked out there because they think you're pieces of shit too. So you're going to hear fucking traffic noise, believe me. Anyways. I hope it's just the people are trying to follow a diet and now they're concerned about salt because apparently someone, is it just because of the abs or someone looked up that thing about your thyroid that it's actually bad to eat all that salt? Okay. Well, as long as it's that and it's not the people running the store are getting sick because there was no unsalted peanuts. And then they have salted almonds on clearance. So I don't know if that's because no one will buy them. Okay. Well, we don't want salted peanuts. Some of us have kidney and liver disease and we're supposed to be on a low sodium diet. And then this, obviously, if the thing is, if the people found out what I told them about, it's called like your salt potassium uptake or something. It has to do with your thyroid. Okay. So it has to do with salt being a vehicle or something that puts the cancer in your thyroid, if I remember correctly. Okay. So, yeah, just so that the people running the store know, because I just left, I was forced out of a hotel where they tried to kill me with sugar, salt, and artificial nitrates. So if the second I see that a store has no unsalted peanuts, and then they're trying to, some people aren't going to notice it. I bought them anyway because I'll soak them in water. But some people aren't going to notice it at first because it's like $4 off. So I don't like it when people are tricked and uh, they're supposed to be on a salt restriction. I'm not the only person with bad eyesight. That's what I said to her at the self-checkout. I have bad eyes and she still wouldn't go and look. Okay, it's just this. There are people that have cognitive problems. Uh, should they pay four times as much for gum when everybody else is paying a dollar ninety nine? Anyways, I was saying that too when I was walking around. Just anything to do with Canton, because, like I said, that's where that church is that apparently started out in Dedham. I know it's spooky, scary, isn't it? And then I go, I don't want to be anywhere where those people are. I don't want to be anywhere. That's why I'm not even tempted to walk to Houghton's Pond. I don't want to go there. No, I'm dead, I'm dead serious. It's not about being afraid to go there. I want to go to Castle Island. So it's good that I didn't use my Charlie card because I can at least go out there one time because it costs money to take a train and a bus. So anyways, I don't want to be anywhere near where those people are. So if they've taken over Houghton's Pond, they probably think they fucking own that shit too. And it's New Africa. Whatever the fuck. Uh, I'm sorry, but when your entire church is black and, and you do, you just did all of that with me, you're horrifyingly insane. I don't want to be anywhere near you people. You're horrifyingly insane. I don't know what goes on. I don't know if Miss Mary is still going there or whatever. She probably doesn't care. She thinks everybody is nice. Just. My friend, Ian Marie, that was the last time I saw her. Apparently she died. That was the last place I saw her was church this last time 
just every time I met her at the shelter in like 2016. And just every time I would see her, she's just like, how are you not in housing? Like you could tell she was like, I think she was disgusted and frightened and upset. Like just, how is this still going on? I, I'm glad that she's passed on. And she doesn't have to see those fucking houses up there. Maybe she saw them. Maybe she saw them because it was at that church. And she, and she's just like, you're, you're, this is going on with you again? That was exactly like the last meeting I had with her. Anyways. I was thinking of that too. Right, where you go. No, this is what they do. If you can't make it to the appointment, then they don't give you the disability money. Just like the social security area. Because how would I get there? How would I get to the doctor or a social security hearing? The thing tells you right there that I don't have an income. What, am I going to suck a dick to get money to go out there? What if I tried to walk out there five times and I can't do it? I still don't get it. I know. Because you could have just put it right on the card. It's all a bunch of horseshit. But anyways, he wouldn't sign it. I read the thing myself. I read the thing myself. He's not going to sign that. No, because it's it's a, it's a person that's disabled. You're asking my primary care physician to sign something that's fraudulent. Yeah, it, because they have people that are medically dying working in these grocery stores. So they're sure as fuck not signing that for me. I don't know how these people are getting shit signed. I don't know how they're doing it. Are they taking it to man at health and those people will commit fraud? Good for them. I didn't want a doctor's appointment anyway. I'm sure my fucking doctor knows that. Anyways. Some people will tell you that's why the judge wouldn't approve the Social Security. That's what some people would tell you. That's why. Because they don't believe that I qualify for it. They don't believe that I'm disabled. They believe that you people are fucking horrifyingly criminally insane. Because there's laws in this in the country and in Florida. That's that's why. That's what they would tell you. That's what the judge would tell you if you asked him. I'm sure he'd go. Are you? What the fuck is wrong with you? How is she not getting alimony? That's your response to reading this. How did this even fucking happen to her? And now here we are, eleven years. You people aren't doing a transition plan. You're being fucking nuked. I don't know how you're planning on living in that house up there. Fucking can't nav. If you call that a house. We're all going to probably end up not being able to find anything. It's an extinction. <laughs> I just don't turn into an eat while I'm doing it. Yeah, I, I, well, I don't know if that's really forgetting things since I've never walked out there before. How could that be forgetting things? It would be like if I went to do my walk that I do, where I walk through the parkway and all that, and then I got lost and couldn't remember how to get back in it. Right. Well, some people would go, that actually doesn't even count because twice she's done it now, and she, did, she didn't find where she was going, but she did find her way back here. Yeah, because when I got out to 138, I, I was like, 138, I, I think I saw the sign when I went. And I, I'm going to be honest, too. A couple of the, the times, we, wherever it went wrong, I, I was worried it went wrong. But what happened to me is I saw, like, street signs that sounded familiar to me. So I thought I was going in the right direction. But it, the second that I saw, I think it was Robin's Street, I went, are you fucking kidding me? I'm doing that thing again? And I was like, well, maybe I'm not doing that thing again. Maybe like when I took Robin Street the last time I tried to walk out there, maybe I didn't walk far enough. Right. But yeah, I saw Athol Street I recognized. What was the other one? 
it's not our fault. It's not, it's like a, like a street. Maybe it is our fault, but there's another one earlier on. And I was like, am I supposed to turn there? And I'm like, no, I must just be thinking about the other way I was going to walk when I looked this up before, because it was way more streets. This was like a more direct route. Is it because I took Brook Street? Should I have not have done that? But then you get to a point where it's like Center Ave, it's Brook Street, Brook Street, Center Ave. Yeah, it's just... That was the plan originally that I was going to take the bus and the train and walk back because maybe it is easier to go the other direction. Yeah. And maybe not, though. But now that I've done that, if I recognize, I wasn't paying enough attention, though. If I recognized on the way back and went, oh, okay, so this is what I did. This is, this is the street. Because that happened to me before with... Um, I think it was 138 when I first started walking that way. The difference between Blue Hill Ave and 138, because it's like blue, 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 but now pan and all that. Yeah, I'm probably just being too hot on myself. It's just like, really? This is like the, f well, the first time I walked the highway, because <laughs> I know how to get there walking that way. And if there was no cars, it wouldn't even be a problem. So I was almost there, and then the state police picked me up because apparently it's dangerous and you're not supposed to walk on the highway. But I, I would have actually need it to Quincy that time, right? If I wasn't hit by a car. That was after the Worcester thing. And then, hasn't the, it's been at least two other times since then that I tried to walk out there. Maybe it's only three times I've tried to walk out there with saturated. Yeah, the other time I think was Houghton's Pond. It wasn't even Quincy. I don't even want to go there now. He explained that one to me too because a horse flies and the water is very polluted. And I think it's got something to do with the clientele out there. It was a gross place when I was growing up. That's why we didn't go there that often. I'm pretty sure it has horse flies. And the water is like brown. It's, yeah, it's like it's a pond. It's not... Yeah, you're probably going to get swim as they are. Uh, it's a pond. It's not a beach. Castle Island's a beach. And you can walk around there, too. Yeah, I mean, if you've got demented Africans taking over Canton, I don't need to go to fucking Houghton's Pond. Pardon my French. I'll go to Castle Island. I don't care about U.S. black people. Are you kidding me? I don't think most U.S. black people are like that. These They're shipping these people in from somewhere else. They're completely deranged. I mean, you might. You might have some of that, but they're probably not from New England. Yeah, I'd be kind of surprised. I mean, people do surprise you, but I'd be kind. I would say that if you have that in Massachusetts... <laughs> well, probably New York. If you have U.S. like American born black people here getting on this bandwagon and just hating white people, they're probably just psychopaths and that's a way that they can hate, hate people. Yeah, I just don't think that goes on really. I, I mean, I, I grew up here. I just don't, I don't think that's really, you get, I got a little bit of that when I moved to Florida and I was talking to some black guy who was from Hyde Park. In Florida, he was talking to me about it. He would know more because he's black. And he's like, yeah, they're really like reversed racist here, really bad. He, like it shocked him because people aren't like that around here. Hyde Park is pretty much dead. I mean, it's just, I don't think people in New England are like that. You're just like, yeah, that's going to be a Southern thing. But anyways, now that I've completely flipped out on the floor of my stream, fine uh anyway like i said if you guys meet i'm gonna have to go somewhere else for peanuts i didn't buy the salted ones no because i do something different with those it, i'm not gonna wash it and then eat dried fruit with it these i can wash it i can soak it and wash some of the salt off and just mix it with like oatmeal or something 
almonds are not the same thing as peanuts. They're harder usually, and it's kind of like, it's not kind of as yummy as just eating peanuts with dry food. I don't know what I'm going to do for lunch now. I got a dough out, but it's not even bought out. Never mind, raised. Raised, raised, whatever. Raised, I was right the first time. Yeah, so that was a little bit disappointing that there was no um, so unsalted peanuts at all. Well, I think it's probably because people are trying to follow a diet because I noticed there was no dates either. So I think it's probably more that than they're not trying to kill us on purpose. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, that's always good. It's good when people are doing that. But if you're, if you live in High Park, don't walk up Camp Nav. I don't know if you tried to walk out to Quincy, don't walk up Camp Nav. I'm just, I'm helping you because you're going to want to flip out if you walk up Camp Nav. You, you are. What I just did. Maybe, it, I don't know if it gets worse. <laughs> That's why I was turned around where I was, if it gets worse up there. But I mean, you don't want to walk over there. These people, they're not even supposed to be building like that. They're destroying the protected lands. It's a reservation. That's why it's called Blue Hills Reservation. It, I feel like they do it on purpose. They're deranged, like putting plastic on all the houses. Just... <laughs> You either altered a road in, in like seized people's houses to put that monstrosity there, or you're on a reservation. And I'm on the ground in Quincy. It, it, I, I mean, you have to know that you're going to die, right? And you don't know when that's going to happen. But some of these people, it's probably going to be a shock. Just all of a sudden, they're all going to realize they have cancer. They're going to have a pain one night, and they'll go to an emergency room, and they'll go, you have end stage cancer. Your whole, your liver, your whole body is cancer. Your whole, you, you have cancer in the liver, you're done. It goes right to your brain. Yeah, just, anyways. Once you let cancer go so far, it kills you. I mean, they, they, that's why they're not, all the doctor has to do is not tell you you have cancer and they've, you're gone, you're done. There's not a treatment that's going to save you. All these people that think, Anybody with the brain, you have to have a brain to have a medical degree. Someone with the brain is going to help you people stay alive while you're holding us all prisoner. <laughs> okay, I guess try Man at Health. Maybe Man at Health will stick a Q-tip up there and tell you that you, your nose is bleeding profusely, so go to a doctor. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> It's strep A gas, and they drive themselves. That's why it's frightening. They drive themselves, and they're still doing that. Like, we are all, I'm, a, I'm the retard showing up there once a week for a Q-tip. Are you testing me for 0529 Omicron? Is that what I'm being tested for now once a week? Uh, let me help you out. I'm positive. I'm 0529. That's why you're zero. You have no chance. It's not. All you can do is laugh. All right, so what do I want to do now? Because I'm waiting for this dough. I guess I can watch my live stream. It's an hour now. I wasn't even, I wasn't even out in the sun that much, but it's probably a good day to get sun. It's colder though, and it's wicked windy. I was wondering when I left here too, I went, it's going to be freezing in Quincy because it's always windy in Quincy and it's never like that. Hey, I shouldn't say never, but you know what I mean when you say never, I don't mean never, but it's always warmer here than it is in Quincy. <laughs> it's always windy out there. When you step off the train at Quincy Center train station, it's windy, right? So I can imagine that wind that we had the other day, Saturday, what it must've been like out there. If those people got freaked out, it, it, I wouldn't say freaked out, but how many times would I have to tell you that you'd be a nuked and what the wind, what that wind is, and then you have the red sky right afterwards, and it's right in the Bible, and you're not getting a sign. It says it right in there. You're not getting any more signatures or anything. It's just you're, you're insane. You don't need signatures to put a stipend on a DTA card. Your DTA. Right, it's just, 
enough is enough. So anyways, hopefully everyone did their push-ups and their abs already. I think it's better to do it in the morning. I'm glad I'm back on that. I was doing it at midnight once in a while because I was like, I am doing it every single day for 30 days. It's a, it's a mental thing. I know now I don't know if the tall guy showed up at Stop and Shop, but if he did, then that's probably for somebody else. Uh, we have stop and shops here too, tall guy. Right. I just attempted to walk out there. I think the tall guy could attempt to walk out here or take a train and a bus. And that guy, Kevin, I don't know what happened to him. That was an actual person asking me to have coffee. Yeah, he was young. I know, just the young guys like me unless he was just being nice like some of them yeah like alex and stuff don't get your hopes up if they do that don't don't obligate them to anything because they're trying to just have a chance to have a conversation with you yeah. but because some of them it is just that and that they don't know how to really interact with, with females really when they want a new mommy sometimes that's what they do that's why i get disgusted with certain females because that's not what these men are looking for. It doesn't matter if they offer it. Well, the, I mean, that Mary has, you know, she was nice to me with giving me, um, giving me stuff to wear. But I did. I've always, I've always not liked the whole thing with her and that Jesse guy. And just, it, it, there was a couple of them. There was her with the Michael, the, and then I don't know if that's the same guy that showed up at the shelter looking for her because he was a young guy too. Someone told me she was living in a tent with some guy one winter, and I think that's when someone showed up at the thing that I thought was Karen's son. It was either him or someone that looks like him, and he denied that he's ever been to the shelter. But yet he's at the at the beach with her. And he's the one who told me that she was shooting up math. He's the one who told me. So if she's mad at that, take that up with him. He told me that that's why she was acting like that. Not I made up that she shoots math. Uh, <laughs> for real. Anyways. Yeah, I think coupled with the thing with that guy, Billy was his name, how disgusting he was. She's not really nice. Like she goes back and forth and she was still saying bad stuff about Jesse saying he has schizophrenia and she's, you know, the, the um, saintlyhood of putting up with that. But anyways, you can have sort of like mixed things about a person. Right. Um, and if she's refusing to stop engaging in a thing with Jesse, what are you going to say? If you say that they broke up and now she's not doing that anymore, then I, I would not, mention it anymore. I would hope I would try not to mention it anymore. Right. But the last time I knew she was actively still doing, engaging with that with him. So obviously I don't like it. Um, he's the one that was at the library in, was it 2019? He, he was incoherent. And he used to go out with a friend of mine named Angel, right? And I never remember him being like that. And then I think people used to say bad stuff about her being a drunk. I never saw her drunk like that. I don't even know if I saw her drunk is what I should say. If she was, she certainly wasn't that drunk because I didn't know, right? And I thought they were cute together. And then it, like a year or two goes by and I go back there. And she, the way she presented herself at the beginning, she just got out of Framingham. She was rude. Like she was like, because that's, it's probably because she's already having an issue with me because of envy. She was already doing it. I have no interest in Jesse whatsoever. I knew him before you. <laughs> you just go, I don't find him hot. And he went out with a friend of mine. I guess I didn't feel to say that to her because I generally don't talk like that. Right. You just... I do, I just sort of go and say nothing on one of those. And you just, just everything the way that she was, I definitely didn't like her. And then I explained a couple of other things. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Then she's 
going out with Jesse. And then I said something, and like, even her response to me was rude. She started not talking to me like that later. Right. Um, so maybe she got to the point where she's not with them anymore. It can be a process. Right. So anyways, I've had it with Lupus Mary, I decided. Yeah. Just that came up in the walk too, but I've thought about it in my mind already. Just the amount of times that she's taken money from me and then told me she was going to pay me back and she never did. So I'm pretty much done with her, yeah. Um, Karen Corbett doesn't do that. <laughs> if I, I think I've only given her money once and she just took it because it was a gift and then didn't say I'm going to pay you back. That's what I don't like about the Lucas Mary thing. Every single time, right? And every single time, like, as soon as I don't have any money, she's gone. Like, it's clear that she's hanging around for your money. And then she tells you she's going to give you money back. And she never does. Right? So I've decided that I'm done with her. It, it combined with what happened with Jeremy with the tent. And I started thinking about what if that's what they were doing to Dave and Lisa. Because I don't know about Lisa. Someone told me she has an income. Uh, Dave told me years ago he had an income that he collects. Right. So you just go, is this why you, is this what you people do? You just cling on to people who have money. And then as soon as they don't have money, you take off, move on to the next person. It's pretty sickening. Right. Anyways, I think the fact that she uh, maintains a relationship with that, that Devin person is weird too. That's one of the things I don't like about her. That's the people at the church who pick you up in the van and take you to the church. Right. So you just go. She sleeps over at her house and stuff, too. <laughs> you just go, okay. It's not weird, the whole thing about 138 and the Houghton's Bond. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's like. I don't think you're a friend of mine. Like, they told me that Karen went to it once and didn't like it. Would, were her and Michael aware about me walking on that route? Because, like I told you, I was doing it before the eviction. Uh, sometimes stuff can happen that's so, like, Mark Wahlberg, swim fan. Is that what the film's called? That you don't, it's like the woman who the guy went up to her butt. Sometimes things can happen that are so insane that at first you just, you don't really, it's not registering in your brain. And then you don't really um, express that to other people. You just say, no, I don't want to go back again. Uh, I can see why. I was going to get $20. That's the only reason I was going there. Right? Because I was out, living outside and I wanted to be able to wash my clothes and you're laying in just disgusting stuff so you need to wash your blankets once in a while that's why i wanted the 20 dollars i know you just go you have to tolerate that woman and her name is Devin, and she's just so that's why i'm going you you hang out with this woman at her house i can't even stand being in the van with her for an hour yeah you just because she's the one that was giving Alex Fagan money, right? The, she's the mysterious person who apparently drove a Lexus and gave everybody gift cards except for Mary. <laughs> just the whole thing is is super bizarre, super bizarre. People just be like, "Oh, da da da," and did you see her? No. <laughs> I think you can see why the woman is never going to go up to me and go, oh, do you need something? These people are gross. They're gross. If you saw what this Mary looked like, too, you go, okay, but this woman you're, you're having sleepovers at your house and she has an income? Okay. Because she's a drunk and a drug addict? Okay. Yeah. I had to get something to drink, man. It, it, I was wicked, wicked thirsty, but on the walk I'm going, it's probably a good thing I'm dehydrated because that's a long time without urinating. Right, I'm walking on the thing going, there is nowhere to get a drink or to urinate. You, obviously, you could be out there walking. I said that about one little area. I go, none of this can even be enjoyable to look at. 
It's such an unnatural thing that's going on. Way too many people, too many people, too much stuff, too many cars. You should be able to walk around and just drop drawer and urinate. And then obviously there's a water source, even if you had to carry water with you, right? It's just, it's such an unnatural thing that, I, that's what I'm telling you. I mentioned the thing about the porta party down at the bridge. And as soon as I was like, that's good. There's a porta party. They took the thing away unless someone from the town was paying for it. And they, they had to take it away. And it could have been that, that they put it there for people. Thank you. And then, right. It could have been that there should be a porta party there. Right. There should be a porta party there because I don't think CBS has a public bathroom. Because old people want to get out of their car and sit there. That's why. I know you just go, you people hate everybody. You hate everybody. For sure. All right, anyways. This is kind of long. I'm sure some people probably think, they think everything's funny. Because we just watched it with Aaron Carter last night. And he's in a, I said he was in a psychosis. But it could be that the person isn't even Aaron Carter. Right, because he she said something about Aaron's party, and he goes, "I don't even know what that is." He might have just been so mad, right? He could have been intoxicated. It doesn't mean I know you just go. It was a little bit mean because I actually felt bad for the girl too. But you go, I have no idea what's going on here, but I did sort of feel bad for. Her. They're supposed to show their faces, yeah. I don't like all this anonymous stuff. That's why they started telling them to do Instagram Live, because we want to see what these people look like, right? Because some of them are probably younger than they're saying they are. You want to know who you're interacting with, because you're, if you're being super rude like that, he wants to know who he's being super rude to. He wants to know that you're not 12 years old. I don't know if she was high or not. I don't know anything about that. People would say I'm wicked naive. So I'm not the person to ask that. But yeah, like people that take that drug would know. Maybe if they know all the terminology behind it too, then they know that the person is using it. Ooh. 